So, so what is artificial intelligence? Well, it's about making computers that can help us, that can do the things that humans can do, but our current computers can't. Modern AI is modeled after ideas about how the brain works. The way the brain works is you have a big network of brain cells, an input comes in, and stuff goes on, and then you get output, and the output you get depends on the connection strengths between the brain cells. If you change those connection strengths, you change the output you will get for each input. And the way AI now works is, instead of programming the computer, you show it lots of examples, it changes the connection strengths, and it learns to produce the right answers without you ever programming. AI takes millions of inputs, more inputs than a human could probably ever have in their life to start making decisions and predictions based on all the data they are given. And so you can quickly see how this can become incredibly powerful and incredibly quick as we start to develop these. Now with AI, what we're able to do is we're able to get the computer to test all those different branches themselves, get the program itself to see what the different consequences are, and you just have to set what is a desirable consequence or what is an, an undesirable consequence, and the computer will figure out rapidly all the different options and decision trees out there. I think we're going to see the learning methods we've got already have dramatic effect on many industries and solve lots of problems. They're helping us target tumours in medicine. They're helping correct climate computations. We should be able to get much better at education. I think there's a lot of new areas that are going to open up. I think that's part of the excitement of it, that this is pure science on a certain level that will lead to very tangible, very pragmatic discoveries. But as we go there, we have to be open to being surprised by what comes out along the way.